All right, cool. So bipolar came in, always the reasoning one, but totally brought it home for my gambling people. Your, you know, the gambling addiction. And remember that, you know, you gotta know when to, right? You gotta know when to say, maybe we should leave with this money. And I've been kind of saying that since I first saw it, like, wow, maybe we shouldn't be spending it here. I mean, we already did the gas idea, and it's still more expensive when you think about it. We were thinking, well, we could have made it all the way home and then put just $5. But we put the 17 thinking, oh, we're going to go get this book and, you know, we're going to invest some more, see this Venice. But as you saw, we suddenly got pushed into certain places, which they do, like paying for a toll. You know, going into a toll thing, That's it's not very evident that that's a toll lane, but, you know, the... The people from the OC are going to be like, no, 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 it's okay, go there, young driver, we need to get to the airport, right, we don't care about you. Um, But I didn't want to say that, I'm I'm just, I guess all this um, landscaping that I'm passing, I'm just remembering like certain clients and it makes me kind of want to go, wait a minute, I prefer reading it, you know what I mean, I'm going to go home. So that's where we are. I was like, but I don't want to do that for Dan Fonte. He wants his book. Bourdain wants his cheese, but we already found the cheese shop was closed. So that's done. Not only is it closed, it's not there. And there's like some sort of chain. Oh, a Chick-fil-A. Yeah, and that's why I always said we need more Chick-fil-A. So anyways, we're on Route 27. We're at a triangle. One will take us up that Malibu toward the Point Doom. And we can go just look at the beanery that's probably not open. I mean, whatever's up there, we can go do that. But did you see the traffic, right? It's going to bottleneck. And it's just going to get worse now until the worst. See, we, we are right now at the escape hours. And we're supposed to be back for this thing at 1833, right? If we stay any more undecisive here in what we just do... It's all going to just be traffic, and it's not going to be fun. Yeah. So, that was the reasoning. And, of course, they just used the... Bipolar just said, dude, it's like, take the money and run, right? Uh, That's the good thing is don't keep putting stuff in. You can come back. Redo your thing. Have them put another crap table in. You know, they're going to take the crap table out because you kept winning. And you wait till they put another one in, another crap table, and then we're going to work that system, right? You're just an algorithm. All right, now I'm going to put it all on Musso and Franks. I do want to do this. So we're going to put it in the thing, see how far it thinks it's going to take us on this Route 27, um, and maybe risk it if it's going to be open. But it can't be, right? It's going to be like pandemic. It's not, unless they're having drinks outside, but Musso and Frank, maybe. You know what I mean? I don't know. But somebody's got to tell us we can't get into this traffic that there's no returning. We're like, we're going to return with no gas, less money, right? Three times in a shell. Um, but I'd like to access this. Just see. So Venice Beach, I'll, I'll send you pictures. It's beautiful. That was wonderful. Don't feel like I'm um, doing it. Now, um, where are we going, Musso and Franks? Ah, oh, just saying the word. You know, Musso and Frank Grill, 15 miles. That sounds not too far, right? 15 miles, that's got to be nothing. It would be 10 minutes. 10 minutes, it's going to take 39 minutes. All right, but it's open, and it looks, yeah. It looks kind of like it is. So 40 minutes, we're going to arrive there. All right, that was my mama. Lots of love to you, she says. And I was going through the Googling, and yeah, if we're going to do this one, I believe, since nobody, I don't think anyone showed up at that beach, we drove by it, so it wasn't like we saw people at the Venice Beach. But uh, what we're going to 
gonna do since we're stuck here we're gonna we are just gonna go up that Pacific coast and make it beautiful and not get stuck into traffic that's been the decision we're gonna take some nice pictures we'll stop at one of those little side things it's more like we're doing a, a tiny route 66 or something or imagine Dan's happy with it so we're the real the fish market restaurant beautiful I've eaten there they do the fish and chips really good Tasting some bait and taco, cute fish, cholada, Thai cuisine, but in, in like a shack. These are like shacks now. I realize there's no video. You know what I'm gonna do here? I mean, I to the hell with the memory. I think if I do time lapse, um, it won't it won't take as much memory. Perhaps what would be cool is if I could do the time lapse while it's recording. I'm not sure if it'll do that. I know already with the phone. Oh, there's the chips patrols. Okay, that's what's cool about the, the now the cops are gonna be friendly on this uh, road. The whole way now, I will not fear the cops. I'm gonna be just fine. Uh, they look like chips. Oh, geez, um, India, once again, to explain a sitcom. Oh, maybe that's called situation comedy. Well, it's a series, it's a drum car. So this dramcom, it's about policemen who ride these, they're actually Harleys from Italy, nobody wants to uh, tell that one, they're automatics too, ah, that's not the way to be a, uh, I mean, I guess that's a way to be some sort of method actor of sorts in a sitcom, but I don't know, it's just not the way. Anyways, it's a beautiful road. It's getting to these bumpy parts, so this is fun. It's like a roller coaster. We're going up, we're going down, like a little roller coaster, like in Coney Island. There you go. And there's a beautiful, there's a boat out there, some sort of yacht. Maybe the one who like crushed us in at the Canaan Road. Remember that? Big old boat from the 80s, remember? Oh, we never got the Super 8. Yeah, I have a feeling now, seeing the way things were, Nobody seeming to know what Super 8 even was, you know, during a pandemic. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we wouldn't have found the wig. We're probably going to find it at home. And we, the rest we can just get sent by Amazon. I bet on Amazon they got cartridges. Of, you know, I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm in that algorithm. I prefer it to traffic. I prefer it to paying for gas. I prefer it to not being able to drive. Right? You, it's as though nobody here wants the other person to drive. That's just my feeling as a driver. And being like 56 and have, having driven a lot. And especially in Europe. Which makes driving around here under any form of uh, uh, recreational stimuli. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. I just have to keep people away from me. That's the only threat here, is that I have to keep out of the way of these people who are honking through my auditorial discomfort. Moon Shadows restaurant, patio, right there. Oh, I bet they got like the best food, like seafood though. I would love to have oysters in one of these places. Yeah, I didn't want to take the risk that we wouldn't make it back at 1833 to do the Musos thing because it was over that canyon. That, that only seemed like 40 minutes. But then the picture they showed me, I realized like, wow, well, it's just we would have to invest in a really good steak or, you know, and that's going to that's gonna get into our, we will have not won at this thing. Right now, I didn't even put any money into their $3 coffees at McDonald's. And I'm gonna invest in not eating any of the food. The only mistake I made was the gas, but the numbers seem right, 311. And it's good, we're not gonna be scared all the way home, kiddies. It's 
says 168 miles, it's going to be fine. It's going to stay like that. That's how that gauge works. Uh, right now, it's going to tell us that it's going to close between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Starting 5, 4, 3, oh, traffic. Okay, well, it has all stopped, but it would have been a stop sign anyways. This is now explaining the Pacific Coast Highway to India if you ever wanted to come driving here. All right, if in India you're like England and the uh, steering wheel is on the other side, this tutorial will not make any sense, don't bother. All right, who does that? I do. Oh, that's rad, that place. That is rad, I think I'll come back for that. See, I, there's all these places I want to take a picture of, but, yeah, but I'm afraid to make that investment where if I pull over, I'm going to lose my place. And we need to get from that one hour, it's going to take us one hour, it said, and 49 minutes to get to Santa Barbara, taking this route. We could have backtracked and someone might have said it would have been faster, but I just don't know anymore because it just stops. When things stop, I feel choked. And um, my only way with dealing with these freeways that would be choked when I visit is that I would say, oh, there'll be this icon of a restaurant and I'm going to go in, you know, and spend a couple hours and just take the atmosphere. But here it's all like, you know, you'll get your steak, I know, your $30 steak in a styrofoam container, you know, good luck eating it with the plastic utensils. It's so romantic. Yeah, but it's cleaner that way, I guess. But you just wrap it in tin foil first. I mean, we've always done it that way. Well, I know that's how they do it in third world countries. I love that. Why don't you just wrap it in the, um, why don't you just wrap it in the foil, but not inject it with anything, and then um, not seal it? Why it's so tight? I don't know. It, if, it, if it has nothing to do with the pandemic, I mean, if there's a possibility that that f fish that would pass John Taffer is okay, this fish has been cooked till it's nothingness, right? It's gonna be okay. Give me that thermometer. I don't need it. I'm a professional. That's what John Taffer says. What well, thermometer? He just burns his lips and goes, yeah, that needs a little more, right? Until I start screaming, still I'm smoking out of my face like a cartoon. Malibu CC. Is that the climate control? Pot control, I know it has to be. Malibu Oh, and then these little motels, this is, oh, I'm so glad we did this. They're, they, they just go like straight, they're the little motels. Like when I remember going on vacation, they'd have all the little postcards, right, in the lobby. And uh, it was always exciting. And you had the coffee machine, right, that you could totally control. It was a percolator. Yeah, it was fun. It's still there that's still there and they, they go like straight up it's like this driveway that goes straight up the hill and they built it like this little motel that's so cool I know you're saying oh Santa Barbara guy well yeah we only know one story you know houses except in Montecito that's the only we go there we go to Ofra's house we pack a lunch right and we picnic checking out what they do and uh, Rob Lowe is always using the binoculars. I think he's the one who started that the cops are using the binoculars now. Everybody's like trying to look in places with these binoculars, like they're gonna see the virus, right? It's all right if I film you. No, you can't film me. Why? You might do that movie. See, I'm always bringing you to a movie, that Italian movie where, called Blow Up, where he's a photographer. This is very important for the game. It's about the photographer, not the one for Slash, not the one that we saw his van, not that one. Uh, we got his, we got his link. I got that one, Sylvie. No, no, no. This is an Italian movie called Blow Up. 
there was a remake with John Travolta, right, who was in Pulp Fiction, right, and then I brought up Thomas Grant, no, I brought up Stoltz, why am I bringing up Stoltz, because he played trumpet, remember I said this actor, Eric Stoltz, was in Oliver, and uh, he had to do, I was very impressed with this kid, we were both nine years old, the thing was called the uh, Youth Theater, run by a guy named Gary Goddard. Please, people, Google all these names, because you're going to be surprised when you see the climatic act, act, act. We are sorry, but there has been an interruption to this program. Um, all right, Lenny, all right. No, I'm just going to just say, blah. I won't even say anything. I'll just say, I don't know, technical glitch. How about that? I'm sorry, there was technical. All right, Lenny? Good. All right, persons and people, sorry, there was a technical glitch. Let's blame it on Sony, all right? All right. Let's just continue on as though nothing happened. Um, kind of like a sitcom. Oh, we are in the heart of Malibu. Because now it's three dollars and sixty-nine cents. Now, do you see how they did that shell? Right across the street from the Sotheby's International Realty, which must be running all these beautiful properties that we see, you know, popping up left and right. We are now arriving at the Pepperdine University. Bum 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 bum. Did you go here? I don't know. I played in an orchestra here. I was some sort of child prodigy, and they would have me play everywhere that these college students would gather. And they were always pissed off at me because I was too young. And they wanted me to grow up so I could, like, compete with them on a normal level. I get it. I didn't get it then. I got it now, way too late. We are now turning the air conditioning on full because we have a full tank of gas and we're gonna pass everyone. We're doing the opposite, see, going home. We were old people going into LA, but now we're going back to our land. Yeah, we're gonna kick you guys off the road. Get out of my way, get out of my way. You're in my lane, you wanna play chicken? I'm just going straight. That's right, move. It's so wonderful. Oh, now that's a cool vocal. That was the Volvo they wanted. No, it was a super. Why are you correcting my story? Oh yeah, because the call. Ah, uh, that's okay. Did did you record the call, Siri? No, you just interrupted my call, Siri. Go back. And don't answer the question. I I discontinued you like a like a, an Uber driver. I just discontinued you like a sock, like an old sock in a. Dostoevsky novel, right? Your sweaty sock. He's like pinching his nose. The, the, the policeman, he's looking at this dude just hallucinating, probably on some sort of crazy drug, right? The newest, whatever's out there, whatever Sush Knight is concocting there, along with classical music, right? The guy can do it all. He's a music producer, people. He's a mogul. He's like a massive icon, and let's follow the Volvo. That's, I am going off protocol in the game. We are following the Volvo. Oh, freedom. Please do not say that this road is just bringing us back into the lane. Oh my God, it's all blocked. No way. I think we lost the game, people. I know it's only one o'clock, but I know where we are. We're not gonna. So we're gonna drive up toward that cross. We're gonna pull over and we're just gonna start doing illegal things in the freedom part of this uh, country of ours. California, spelled with a K, misspelled just like Louis C.K. and what's his face uh, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What is his face and what's his name? Not Flea. Flea's a good musician. He's an amazing musician. No, the front guy, like for Guns N' Roses, they can dance and smoke at the same time. I can do that. All right, where's the camera? See, it's taken away my my edge. 
All right, I'm gonna wait till there's no. I'm gonna take a picture now, of course, of the Pepperdine Cross. But I'm waiting for all the cars to go away, so it'll be a really clean shot. There we go. I just did the clean shot, totally illegally. Five hundred fine, five hundred dollar fine for littering. So I'm gonna take a polo right now. Hold on, there's my polo, right? Okay. And uh, go. Cool. All right. I don't know if you guys have done this with a Polaroid. It's amazing. Now, you don't have to shake it like, ah, that is so cliche. And it's like after the cliches. Do you know? Anyways, you take the Polaroid and you, you'll see. It makes the, yeah. Cool. You see, it bubbles, it becomes an art thing. Now, wait, 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 it's gonna get any cooler. Now, you add a little liquid, not water. It's gotta be a special liquid. Hold on. No, let me drink, let, no, let me at least drink most of it. I've only had one. Leave me alone. All right, right? Now, you see, now it separates. Now you have two pieces of art, people. You see why I wanted to do it this way? Now take some, a sheet from your journal, okay? And now you have that one photograph. Push it, you'll see all the liquid parts. Just crush it onto the page of your journal. All right, now leave it there a little bit. Let that go. Now go to your other photo. And this one, just go keep burning that sucker. And it's just, you don't know what that's gonna turn into, but it's art. And you can sign it below, you can write stuff. It's wonderful, it's Polaroid. All right, now it's time to go back to your journal. This is gonna be so exciting. And now, peel away the plastic very carefully. Peel it. Now, if it starts to seem like it's not working, either let it sit or just dab a little bit of mm, um, Schlitz malt liquor right with the bull you've heard it you know it's in a movie yes lenny look if lenny doesn't call me he knows it's covered it was probably a ridiculous movie all right now remember the you're gonna do like i did just throw the the burnt up thing the really plastic where you don't you're right it's all gooey now right that thing the sculpture yeah just ditch it now like i did in the street there in front of the sign 500 dollars fine for littering I'm gonna take a picture of it for you guys there it is you can see it in front of the sign we're gonna wait for the there's no cars oh they get in the way oh it's because I didn't wait all right it's always gonna be my fault no I think we should have a lull in cars it should be possible one two oh no I can't get a littering sign with some litter in front of it without someone driving in front of me. That was, okay, I'm auditing instead, whatever this is, Pepperdine. I'm auditing the school of Pepperdine. That's it. If you're gonna keep me stuck here, then give me an assignment. But I obviously, they're not gonna let me just park here, right? I couldn't just stay here, picnic, right? Because it's not the police who are going to bother me here now. They got other problems. They got the riots happening in Koreatown, right? Their Koreatown, people, is in purple. Did you know that? How many people in Santa Barbara? Let's just do Santa Barbara. How many people know that they're at purple? Like, how many people know that purple's a color? Right. No, we got to go straight. Because now there's a security guard to get into Pepperdine. You understand what you've sent me here in the game. We are now on a losing battle because we are now going back to Point Dume. Point Dume. Point Dume. We're coming back to you. I guess Dan Fonte wants it. And now we're stuck on this. This is a thing I love about LA and it's bringing me back to that Sacramento sign back on the 101. Is that you can be forced into a thing where you will not be able to change that direction. Like right now we're going northeast. No matter what, we cannot turn around. Even though it looks possible, it's not legal, you see? And so 
so they made it so even if you try to do this little maneuver, which would be very helpful for us now, because we're in a patch where there's nobody. You see? Whoa, Malibu Crest Drive. Though that could be interesting. And what is this? IRL Laboratories. Sylvie! Hold on, we got to a section of California, right, with a K misspelled for Mr. Keaton's writer's blog. Writer's blog. I think we're back, we're going back through the canyon. It's forcing us back to Musso's and Frank. No, you don't understand my character. We only have three more hours, I think. Uh, he's... I don't think you guys have figured out who he is, but he has many problems, this Quaterfiniac, and he's on a death trip, and he just needs one more thing to ruin it, right? And it could be anything. It could be like that he doesn't make it back at 1833, because that's what he's counting on to make this movie perfect, because he started it at 1833. Don't you guys remember? It just happened yesterday. Do you know how hard it is for someone with my issues to even be able to get audio onto my phone and then off of it? I've been explaining. You should be amazed that you're even hearing anything of anything. But you're saying, no, I don't understand. And we're going to stop at this turnout. That's legal. Oh, it says no stopping at any time. At the turnout. No stopping. No waiting. Stop graffiti. Oh, that's a good one. That was mine. I'm taking a photo. You know that's my bit. Oh, my God. L.A., no wonder you are blatantly messing with me. Like you're Louis C.K. Like, New York's not going to touch me. You guys, you're ahead of me. And, but you're only like three hours ahead of me. You don't understand. My people, friend, that's what Charlie Sheen would say to me, friend, my people with the tiger's mill will tell you that that concept of the stop graffiti was mine and it's on there. And if you guys don't believe it, you have to start watching the videos. I don't know how else to explain the game. I mean, if you don't get started, that was the first video. If you find the first video, it's super simple. It's a tutorial about how to read Kurt Cobain's journal. That's all it was. He's saying how to drive holding your phone with one hand. He was doing this to spite YouTube because they always say, don't do anything dangerous, don't do anything illegal. And I like to do the things like, how about both? And then you said you didn't like the sunglasses, right? Well, I'm gonna do those and be upside down, right? It's just the algorithm explodes for a day. You shut them down. But do you see the impossibility? Like I am going to stay here for a little while because I need my dyslexia medicine people. I'm not asking for much, but you can hear in my voice, I'm asking for a lot. That's all. But if I have no stopping, if they tell me slower people, that works for me, um, must go into the side turnout, let everyone go, and then I arrive at this turnout and say, okay, I'll do it. It's what you want. Just allow me to stop. Right? That's all I'm asking you. Don't tell me, well, no, don't stop. I'll give you a ticket, but take the turnout. But there's no turnout. It's, it's a patch to, to stop. If you looked at the pictures and then it's, what was the other thing it said? Like the obvious, like don't fall off the cliff or something. What they're gonna charge you money to like bail your 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 car out of a ditch. Do you know how many times people have done it here? Because of the turnout, right? It it it's not a turnout. What do you think a turnout is? Exactly, India. India knows what a turnout is. 
uh, Germany. What do you think a turnout is? Yes. France? Yes. Italy? Wow, you guys. Germany, you know, you guys are going like three times our speed limit. No, three times the French speed limit. And look what they did to the queen. No, it was a princess die. That's how that Uber driver felt about the paparazzi. He's like, I'll take Prince down, right? He messed it up. Yeah, I know. Just like the guy with John Lennon. They, ah, they should have, no, princess. Yeah. Save, we said. We said, save the prince and the princess. Yes, both of them. But yours was just the princess. Uh, don't worry about what happens. The prince, don't back up. No, no, don't drive over there now. Try to, oh, you're feeling sad. You, you hurt a country symbol and she was having a good life and they're, the mad's telling you, oh my God, it's all your fault, right, right? All right, we're gonna do some mad at 31, 13, 33. All right, a little bit of mad, but first we gotta go into cruise control for this. We only have one thing to think about, people. We must get out of Point Doom. We have found ourselves in Point Doom. That's uh, Los Angeles uh, for you smut-minded. Okay, for Iggy Pop fans like myself, it's Kill City. I can't do it. He was right. I gotta get out of Kill City. I'm in suburbia. Come find me if you have the guts, right? You know that's my way. But right now they're kicking me out of the turnouts. They're not playing fair and they're shoving me into the mountainside and it's just gonna spit me back out in the valley. Oh, valley girl, no, don't take me back. Um, oh my God. She's like, totally, oh my God, gag me with a spoon. No, don't make me do it. All right, please take me to Google Maps. Lost Hills. I'm not gonna go that far. We are in Lost Hills. Yeah, if I could take a helicopter. Oh, I'm on the Uber app. I was on the Uber app 